Hey guys, I'm Jinx and welcome back Repent. to the Pills of Killers of, of the Earth. Let's let's join Philip in waiting in line. Have you finished your business? Indido? Indido we have. Yes. Glad to hear it. Philip, I now understand why our market at Kingsbridge has had more visitors lately. Shiring isn't what it used to be. Steep taxes and strict laws have taken their toll on the town. Is that so? Yeah. These merchants would give anything to do their business at another fleece fair, but there's none nearby. They need a place with fair taxes, one that can put those taxes to good use. If we had a license... Are you thinking of a fleece fair in Kingsbridge? Call in the monk and the woman he's with! Oh. You, impatient monk! <laughs> it's your turn! The girl, too. Me? What? Did you want me to come with you? No. We're not first in line, are we? Well, lucky you, then. Get moving. <clears throat> well, this can only be good. Philip oh, mother. Gwyneth, oh, okay. prior of Kingsbridge. The Earl of Shiring. Oh, no. Thank you for no. hearing me, old Percy. It's Earl William, isn't it? Please allow me to introduce my friend, Aliena of Kingsbridge. I knew it was you. <gasps> <laughs> oh, it doesn't sound like you missed me. I demand to talk to the Earl of Shiring. He has broken his word. You are talking to the Earl of Shiring. Bishop Whaler. The oh, enemies yeah. of this earldom have taken Percy Hamley from our midst. Mother! Really? Do you consider yourself a friend of the Earldom of Shire? So my thinking is you did that, so William can... Friend? That damn monk is drinking the blood of my Earldom! It is not for us to damn them, Lord William. But judge them we must. <laughs> I am taking it kindly to think Shiring Damn it, sorry. is changing. What crimes did we commit then? The king has never licensed a market in Kingsbridge. Your market is illegal, Philip. You are stealing my taxes by allowing my people to trade in your sorry priory, and you disrespect my authority! Is that true, Philip? I... I will talk to the king about this. You and your friends have always played by your own rules. Have we? But not anymore. Fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. The days of Kingsbridge Cathedral are over. Now leave. The next time I will show no mercy. Uh, God damn it. You know, I have this theory that there are some people who just can't be reasoned with, you know? Like some people who you just can't talk to, it's impossible. They just, like the only thing that you can do is just give them a good old fucking slap across the face. And I personally believe that fucking William Hamley and fucking Waylorin are two of those people. Even though, uh, obviously, Waylorin is the mastermind behind all this, and he's, you know, using William. Anyway, what you did, Eliana solved the sales conflict to her own advantage. Yes, we did. Eliana showed good skill as a merchant. Eliana gave Philip more money than Richard. Eliana and Richard made a fantastic team. Nice. Eliana returned 
the board game to its rightful owners, the monks. Yeah, I kind of figured that'd be a point in the summary. Eliana helped Philip to pay his workers early. Yep. Waylon and William, the new Earl, declared Philip's market illegal. Uh, boy, this shit is uh, about to hit the fan, isn't it? I had assumed that as long as the market was held within the walls of the Priory and the taxes supported the construction of our cathedral, Kingsbridge would need no market license. I had made a foolish mistake. Now I had no option but to call on King Stephen for help. And as Aliena suggested, I joined the knights on their way north to Lincoln. Lincoln. Whoa. Travel with knights. Okay. Where is Lincoln? Oh, all the way. Seven days on horseback. More and more men joined our group. Most of them had no horses and no weapons to speak of. As King Stephen prepared for his final battle against Robert of Gloucester, he had ordered all able men of his earldoms to fight in the north. Even... Then, at nightfall, our group reached a large camp of Stephen's men. Go to sleep, walk through camp. Let's walk through Many men camp. asked me to pray with them. They were husbands, fathers, and children about to fight in a war that most of them did not understand. It was then that I witnessed Aliena's brother Richard shouting at a man. The man was in tears, saying he did not want to fight and begging to be allowed to go home. Admonish? Is that like... Like, um... Uh, like scold? Obviously, we're gonna. I told Richard to have pity. Full of anger, he told me that he would hang deserters himself if need be. Then the man interrupted us by shouting infamities about Robert of Gloucester and started to laugh. Richard and his knights joined in and began to cheer for the king. Richard seemed to me just as desperate as the young man, but he did not know it. Hmm. His temper would not make him a just earl, I thought. But again, I hoped to see a cruel man win his battles, only to defeat a man more cruel than him, William Hamley. Let's go to sleep. After a long first day on my way to Lincoln, I found a place to rest. I fell asleep soon and dreamed about soldiers. But these soldiers were not on their way to Lincoln. They had come up the twisting hillside path to our little hamlet in North Wales. My brother Francis and I had tried to outrun them and to warn my parents. But as always when I had this dream, we were too late. So that's a little, a little hint as to your past, huh? because he never liked... He doesn't like talking about their parents. So that's what happened. Come up the twisting hillside. Tried to outrun them and to warn my parents, but they didn't make it in time and the parents were already killed. King Henry's men had killed Ma'am and Da. Abbot Peter came to take us in, just as it had happened so long ago. But this time, in my dream, something was different. I was six years old then and Abbot Peter had not yet taught us about God. But still, I asked the monk the question, why did God do that? Is... He wouldn't be the guy in the fire, right? Years ago, when Jack accidentally set the fire and burned down the... Uh, the first cathedral in Kingsbridge. In the attic, we saw a guy, someone who fell through the roof, uh, uh, like a, a monk that nobody knew about. He was someone who supposedly died. I, I thought it was either Prior James or somebody else we didn't know. It might have been this guy, right? I don't know. Also, 
for the first time in this reoccurring dream, he, Philip asks, why did God do that? I had said that. Whoa. It had been my voice answering the child. It was me. I was responsible for the fate of these children, Richard and Eliana. As I tried to calm them, I realized the blood of their father was still on my hands. I awoke with a start. Yeah. It was as if my dream had not been a warning, but a reminder. I had sinned, and I had to atone for my sins. I prayed that I would be able to help those that had already suffered by my hand, and all of Kingsbridge. Yeah, he really, really... I mean, he blames himself for... for the death of Eliana and Richard's uh, dad and everything bad that happened to them. Because... Like, he was part of the events that led to Earl's castle being attacked. But I honestly don't know how we could have avoided... Anyway. Uh, let's... let's ride to Lincoln. Let's keep riding. After what felt like an eternity, the sun rose and we continued on our way to Lincoln. As we moved, I remembered hearing that Bishop Waleran had been to Rome, and William had fought in the Holy Land. I told myself that King Stephen would eventually see these men for what they really were. He had to. And I tried to convince myself that God would make things right. Well, that's a nice and optimistic view. Um, I just don't think it's realistic. Oh. Meanwhile, while Philip is riding to Lincoln... You are late. Is it done? Well... Yes, my bishop. Oh. It's Their you. builder is dead. What about the saint? I couldn't get into their crypt unseen. You disappoint me again, Timothy. Dude. Please, when did I ever fail you before today, right reverend? Regan Hamley is alive. Well... Dude, Waleran, I know... <laughs> she didn't. No. Your you poison has left her person. in a deep sleep. Oh, the when cold. the time is right, I will send our Earl of Shiring to finish what I asked of you. You're gonna ask him to kill his own Kingsbridge father? Kingsbridge will fall. Jesus. Chapter 12. Hold on, I have shit to think about. Hold on, the great beast. Wait, 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 one week later. Why is it skipping through? My hands are off the fucking keyboard and mouse. Lincoln, before the battle. Is the battle gonna take place in Lincoln? Hold on! I have shit to think- Wait! 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 Don't advance the story yet! Hurry up, my friend! Or do you not want to see our king after all? I have shit to say! <sighs> I fear I must! Take a break? Then let's not waste more oh, time. Girl. Okay, just wait! Come on, Philip. Okay, I have to ask King Stephen for a market. Oh, I have to. Okay, listen, 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 listen. First off, first off, um, Waylon is the most predictable moron I have ever seen. The most predictable. I called that he sent the assassin. I, I mean, at least, I, I know thinking it, I hope I said it. I called that he sent the assassin for Tom. I called that he fucking um, wanted uh, the Hamleys dead. And I called that he's using William. And all these things you knew too, because it's fucking obvious. Like, how, how would he be getting away with anyway? Anyway, additionally, if he can send William 
to go and kill his own mother, who's currently in a coma because of a botched assassination attempt by Waylorin. If Waylorin can, can send William to kill his own fucking mother, then this shit is really bad. Because then he has real control over William. Because even though William's a fucking moronic piece of shit who has a lot of shit going wrong with him, mentally, I do not see that he would normally agree to killing his own mother. Right? At least not with a bit of fucking resistance. But if Waylorin can just, like, send him to do it, like, this shit is bad, dude. Like, uh, the, we're, we're, in, we're in trouble. Big trouble. And if he's just bananas, as you say, then I'm not taking each other. <laughs> right. Uh, Lincoln Castle. Stolen from stolen from King Stephen. Grimoire of Chester's men hide in there. Loyal to Maud and Earl Robert. O okay. Lincoln. Never seen such a city. More impressive than Winchester... So many stone roads. Okay, Richard and... Oh, okay, okay. I'm a little... Overwhelmed, but... Okay. Let, let's, let's follow them. So... Where do we find King Stephen? Who's asking? Richard of Kingsbridge. <laughs> I've heard of you. Good things, I hope. Maybe. You can go inside the cathedral. Where are all the knights and soldiers? <laughs> I should go first. So if these people behind us in the castle but are... But this is a house of God. Only two more days. Am I stupid? If they know what's good for them, they'll surrender. Oh, I'd be right. disappointed if Maud would give up so easily. They're like five feet apart from each other, and you're telling me they're not attacking? Like, I know that strategically they might want to wait. My king! But... You have my sword! Good! Who is that? <laughs> Richard of Kingsbridge. Him. Hmm. Now, what about those archers out there? Yeah, the... Ah, Sir Richard, you made it. Had a monk to look after. You should visit our enemies, Father. They should be praying, for we'll cut their heads off. Yeah. Hear, hear. How did the situation come to pass? Uh, how did, how, how? That fucking, like, King Stephen, like the fucking King Stephen is in here, and like five feet across from him are people who are um, allied with Maud. Like, I get that they stole the castle, blah, blah, you said that. And I get that they're not running in to attack because they, that might be stupid strategically. But how did this situation even... Like, did they just, like, walk in, like, mods people and said, Yo, we're chilling here now in this part of, the, of your city. We're just going to stay here. I mean, I guess it's possible. It just seems unlikely to me. Anyway, asking, ugh, asking Steven for help. Uh, Richard. Not as relaxed as he pretends. Still an angry boy, so different from Eliana. Forces to disgrace. Stephen uses the church as he pleases. The bishops will support anyone in power. Garrett looking soldier. Another poor soul forced into battle. Looks so desperate. Can we talk to him? Common Father. Daniel. I'm afraid. Come now. What are you afraid of? I... I... I own a mill. I, I built it myself. The only thing I was ever good at. I will die if I have to fight. Do you have a family? A, a wife. I can't go out there. I can't. I want to tell him this. I don't want to. I don't want to say this. He must not run. I want to tell him to hide. 
because he's cannon fodder. He, there is, dude, he's a mill owner. That is, I don't even see a weapon on him, but whatever. If you send him into battle, he's cannon fodder. He's just going out there to die. That is his whole, whole purpose. And other people may be okay with that, like the king, right? But if I tell him to hide in the church, that could be, like, if he's found out, that could be treated as desertion deser des yeah, or, or treason or whatever. And he could be um, sentenced to death, right? That's my, my thinking. Which, I don't know, man. Hide in the church. Hide in the church, but let no one see you. No. No, I won't. Oh, thank you, Father. He said, no, I won't let anyone see me. That's what he meant. I was taken aback to. You have known he would be here is worse than his parents were, huh? Actually, I wonder what happened to his parents. Well, I mean, one's dead, the other's in a coma. Actually, I don't think he's worse than his parents. Um... Wait, no, of course I do. <clears throat> yeah, his parents were horrible. He's much, much worse. He's, al he's also much stupider, I think, than I his will mother. spare myself the malice and infamy. <laughs> okay. Shields. Mending equipment. <clears throat> Sorry. Preparing for battle. Hope they save lives. <clears throat> Jesus, I'm sorry. King Stephen, let's talk. Let's, let's talk business here. There's no two ways about it. I have to go out there myself to see what's going on. My king, Ranulf's archers are only waiting for you. They know they'll be at my mercy once I've dealt with Robert the Bastard and ran off the traitor. I doubt they dare shoot me. Hmm. Stephen, be reasonable. Henry, will the church for once shut up? We are at war. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, I will go out there without getting shot in the head. Yeah, I doubt they'd hit. It's more likely they... I know, must know why they posted the archers so. up there today. Just for once, use your brain. Think. Yes, my king. Did we have to? My king? You! What are you doing here? Dude. Have you come to atone for having your monks write that heretical book? Oh. <laughs> uh, no, my bishop. I... So you continue to doubt your bishops, your pope. Would you shut up? Henry. The How dare business. you show your face here? <laughs> Henry. Fuck you. I Dude. told you I am not to be disturbed. This monk should be thrown into a cell. Maybe then he will see reason. What? Because he doubts your miracles? I have to admit, having someone walk over red-hot plowshares or putting his hand in boiling water to prove he's innocent is entertaining. I give you that. <laughs> Stephen! But the monk is right, of course. There is a tendency that your miracles conveniently happen when the church needs them most. Whoever believes that to be a coincidence or miraculous deserves no place at my table. Ah. Uh. <laughs> What is your name, monk? Uh, Philip of Gwyneth. I will make sure my brother won't arrest you. Thank you. If anyone will have you arrested, it's me. Good to know. My king, I, I have come to see you. I have no time for you. Unless you know a solution to my problem. Well, what's your problem? Maybe we can There are archers other. outside, probably looking forward to killing me. Very I have to see so what's going on out there with my own eyes, without getting shot. If you have no solution for my problem, better not waste my time, or I will have you arrested. Yeah, 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 yeah. don't be a dick. Jesus, Stephen wants to take a look at the castle without getting shot. How do we do that? 
Um, or a shield. I don't know. A shield could surely stop an arrow. Shield should offer protection against. You can't seriously tell me that nobody in this place has thought, hey, you know what? What about a shield? Maybe that'll help. You know, against arrows? Eh? A shield? Let's try it. My king, you could use a shield to protect yourself. A well directed arrow can pierce a shield, a helmet even. Well then. Then. Why do all these men wear helmets? Against non-well-directed arrows? <laughs> For luck! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So obviously shield's not the correct answer. Even though I kind of doubt that an arrow could pierce a metal helmet. But I don't know anything about arrows, so who knows. Con con Congre... blah blah. The Bishop of Lincoln. Praying for King Stephen's victory. Huh. It is time the war ends. Yeah, I agree. They are already praying for Stephen. But I doubt that's the solution he's looking for. Yeah. Um. Wh well, is it, what do we have here anyway? Let's, let's leave. Maybe there's some... Maybe there's a way to... Figure this out outside. What is science? Will our cathedral ever be finished? Was there hardship building this one? Uh, probably. No. That won't keep him safe. Really? Stephen would be just as good a target on the top of the cathedral. Well, I mean. Yeah. Night. Hello there. Today there's twice as many arches up there. Is that not a bad thing? I've been standing here for weeks now. Ranulph's men are probably just bored. They don't mean harm. How can you be sure? Hmm. Listen. <whistles> well, that's my friend over there. Hmm. I've never seen him. But we do this every day. That's how I'm sure. <laughs> Lincoln Castle and the upcoming battle. All right, let's get some more insight on this. Uh, 11, uh, 1141, what Philip heard about the war in Lincoln. After Lincoln Castle was taken over by men loyal to Empress Maud, uh, the king lay siege to the castle. Shortly thereafter, news reached the king that Maud's half-brother is advancing on Lincoln. And while he's accompanied um, by great numbers of Welsh, Welsh, Welsh forces, Stephen too is well prepared for a battle. In only two days' time, the war for... For the English throne may finally come to an end when the forces of Maud and Stephen meet on the battleground outside Lincoln. This is gonna go to shit. All of this. It was called Lincoln before the battle. We are 100% gonna see the, the outcome of this battle. Or at least like the destruction that came from it. 100%. The people of Lincoln support Stephen, but I doubt they could help him now. Hmm. Man, I don't know. Better not get too close. Hmm. The men on top of the wall all carry bow and arrow. They are watching the cathedral closely, as if they were waiting for something. But for what? Maybe it will help the king if I tell him what I saw. Yeah, maybe the king will be content. Yeah, I doubt it. I still he's. I, I think he'll still want to see it for himself. But uh, let's talk to him anyway. I'd be guessing they're waiting for him to come out because they could kill the king with just one arrow. You know, like yeah, maybe maybe um, that would create chaos or whatever. Maybe everybody would attack them, but the king would be dead. Like you can't tell me that. There isn't one soldier who's like, maybe, like all it takes is one of the of Maud's uh, people, one of the archers up there, to think like, hey, I could kill the king. 
you know, and for whatever reason, he, he keep, like he might be like, oh, I'm loyal to Maud, that's why I'm doing this, or I, I just don't like the king, or whatever. But like, all it takes is one person to loosen that arrow, right? And he's dead. My king, I would like Wrist to tell you outside. what I saw outside. Maybe then you will not have to put your own life at risk. Tell us what you saw, monk. What did you see? Archers. They were waiting for something. For our king, of course. No. No, no. There's more to it. What else did you observe? Nothing more, my king. Now that's not enough. I have to see them with my own eyes. Hmm. Is there more to, to see? Find a solution. Oh, I, I, yeah, I haven't tried. Alright, well, listen. Uh, next time we're just gonna try uh, co combining this with, <laughs> with everything. Uh, but that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all next time. Auf Wiedersehen.